So now let's work on how we can delete, right? So let's close every component. Let's close these components and, and open this profile component. Now in here we have, let's find out where is our delete, yeah, this fire employee, right? So let's create a function of this deleting employee, right? So let's create a function const and let's say delete uh, E-M-P-L-O-Y-E and it, that will be a fat arrow function and now in here uh, we need to use fetch right uh, let's say what was the url let's go to our let's say home screen and what was the url yeah this one just copy this up Control c right and just paste this up here and let's see what route it was just open the server folder let's say what was the delete route so delete was this this route delete control copy this control c and paste it here now what delete expects so delete expects only thing which we need to pass is just id right okay yeah uh, yeah so we are receiving this id in from this right what we can do is uh, we can just console.log if we are receiving uh, the id correctly so i will just console.log the underscore id let's say if we have or not okay now in here in this fetch it's also this is a post request so here we just need to pass a second option and here in method we need to tell it is a post request and in here we need to give it a header and this header will be of uh, here we need to give a content type so let's go, go to employee and just copy this line control c and in here just paste this line right and here also we need to define a body uh, b o body and then we need to just stringify that first so json dot stringify and here we will be passing an object and object will have just id and that's underscore id oh sorry uh, uh, our our backend is expecting to pass and just id our backend is, is not expecting us to pass an underscore id so we can just pass id and that id will be equal to underscore id like so right or you can just go to here and just change that to underscore id but for now let's leave that let's don't change the backend right okay uh if that is successful now we'll be receiving the de the deleted item right so let's first parse that to json let's res equal to res dot json and now let's chain on another then again this will return us a promise now let's catch that up in the another then block and here we will receive let's say the ele deleted uh emp employee and what we will do is let's say we will make an alert right uh yeah so we'll just make an alert let's see if we have imported that alert or not so let's import that alert right uh, once the employee is deleted we'll make alert uh yeah and here we can just here we just get a the server is responding us with the deleted object right so it it responds us us with the deleted objects now in this deleted object uh, let's concat the strings and here we can use this dollar right and is in this from deleted employee the ele deleted employee we have name i think so we can use this and we can concat the text d e l e t e d right deleted okay yeah and let's chain on the then block so let's copy that from uh, let's say in here right uh, just copy this up control C and if something goes wrong just chain on that 10 block right yeah and I think that is, that is it right okay so just copy this delete employee control C and we will call that uh, in here right control V and like so and let's save this right and let's click on this Hitesh right so it is giving console oh I just made a typo here instead of right so just yeah, open first the our this uh, let's say terminal uh, just open our terminal first and let's see if we get a console.log of that or not let's dismiss that 
let's click on this plus or oh, not this plus let's click on the Rakesh right so we should get a console.log of id we are not getting it up oh why is that a case let's delete it let's try deleting it yeah so Rakesh deleted yeah awesome now we should we can just pull to refresh let's see if Rakesh is there no Rakesh is no longer there okay it is deleting I don't know why it didn't work. Uh, this console didn't work. Let's remove this. Our employee is successfully getting deleted. Now after uh, putting alert, we can just use navigation right from that props. Right. So let's navigate that user back to home screen. P R O P S props dot N A V I G A T I O navigation dot N A V I G A T navigate, and we'll navigate that user again back to home screen. Right. Okay. Let's save this up. Let's delete one more employee. Let's delete this Mukesh, right? And let's fire this employee. We'll see this pop up. And let's if we refresh this screen, we can see Mukesh is gone now, right? So our application is taking a shape, right? Right. So uh, we are loving what we have built, right? It it has been a lot of fun working together with you guys. So let's uh, in our uh, next video, let's see how we can update uh, this particular record right so i will see you guys up in very next video